Yo, 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 hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Metro Johnny. We're here, general, general manager mode, or GM mode, should I say, here on Madden 21. And since the game is currently broken when you play the game, we will we'll be doing this series a lot more until they fix it, and then maybe Madden Subscriber League will come back. I don't know. Maybe they never fix it. It's EA. You just, you never know. But for now, we can still do this series. And I'm excited because we got, you know, we're coming off of year number one where I think we did better than a lot of people thought we would. And we want to build off of that success. So Manny Thomas, we're just going to take a look at the roster really quick. Just in case you guys have forgotten. This is kind of what we're working with. Uh, for the O line is definitely the weakest part of this team. Uh, we don't even have a guy that's, you know, well we have one guy, uh, Braden Smith, who's approaching the 90 overall. But besides that, uh, there's not much here, and you need a lot more than that. Now we did make a move. Sheldon Rankins was a direct tackle. He better fit the scheme at left end. He gets boosted up to an 85, and so now we have dominating right uh, right and left ends, just defensive ends, period. We have Chase Young, Chase Young on the right end, and then on the left end we have Sean Rankins, who played phenomenal in training camp on that in that position, excited for this defensive line. And then in the middle we have Jonathan Allen, 86 overall, uh, Morgan Fox behind him. I, I think this is probably the best about the team. Um, for linebackers, you know, we're not – nothing bad. We made an upgrade at middle linebacker with uh, Vander. So that's that's a plus. Right outside linebacker, pretty weak there. Cornerbacks and secondaries where we get pretty weak at. Obviously, we shot, signed the veteran Richard Sherman to kind of help us here. Uh, but, you know, I don't know how much that's going to do. His speed is all the way down to an 83, and that kind of scares me. Not going to lie. Uh, didn't realize that. Mm, that's actually really worrisome. Uh, man, we might have to change that. I don't know how comfortable I feel with that. We might have to move him to uh, free safety and maybe bring Marcus Williams down to cornerback. How's his man-to-man? 75-87? -man? Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so Richard Sherman, we're about to do this right now. I normally do this off camera, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't see that. He's going to be getting burnt. He's too old. He cannot play cornerback no more. Free safety. And that's the cool thing about cornerbacks. They got kind of get a second wind in their career because they can always just go. When they lose that speed, they can always move up. And look at that. His overall went up. A little bit that's that's great now I'm just worried about Marcus Williams hopefully he'll be happy with this change hopefully he will play fine with it um, I definitely think he is the most skilled to play cornerback out of our safeties so let's see what the damage is here uh, five points he goes down so an 85 that's we'll take that honestly uh, but yeah so there it is there's the team as far as wide receivers go, I am so excited to see how Kenny Johnson plays with that 97 speed, boys. 97. Uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I wanted to note this. Their number one overall pick, Dorian Stewart, is hurt. He got hurt preseason with a dislocated elbow on his throwing arm. He's out for four weeks, which means, guess what? It's still the Big Ben story. Um, luckily for Pittsburgh, Big Ben, this isn't going to be that big of a loss because Big Ben has still got talent. He's 75 overall, so uh, not really a big gap as far as overall goes. But one thing you get with Big Ben is that superstar X factor. This could possibly be his last year at the age of 40. Who knows? But, yeah, that was the biggest news around the league everywhere else you know it is what it is so we're going to take a look at the overall stats man or overall ratings going into this year because we're about to sim lamar jackson and patrick mahomes are the two 99 overall quarterbacks going into year number two 
Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, Dak Prescott. You see them here. And we're not too bad. We're not the worst. We already have a quarterback that is, they say, better than Tua, better than Jared Goff, Matthew Stafford, Cam Newton, and all those guys. So we're not at the bottom of the barrel. So I'm excited. As far as running backs go, here you go. Nick Chubb, Christian McCaffrey. You see him here. Pretty exciting there as well. Wide receivers, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Michael Thomas, DeAndre Hopkins. There's a lot of talented wide receivers in this league. But guess what? Guess what? We have one of the top fastest wide receivers in the league right now. Obviously, Tyreek Hill and Henry Ruggs are the fastest at 99 speed. The only two with 99 speed. But look at that, boy. Look at that rookie, Kenny Johnson. Now, I'm a little upset. Travis Golston, uh, he has 97 as well and 91 acceleration. And so we're going to get to see these two kind of beef it out, see which pick was the better pick here. Um, I do like Kenny Johnson's agility a little better. But enough of all of this. We have some simming to do. And uh, this next year's draft is actually going to be pretty pretty intriguing and you'll you'll see why so let's let's go ahead and say so here we are after week one we lose 35 to 21 against the Dallas Cowboys now one thing I need to know is I turned down the XP sliders I don't want uh, you know I want it to be harder to get guys in the 90s I don't want you know it to be too easy so I did adjust the XP sliders I lowered everything down um, a pretty good bit just to make it harder um, to where we really need to make better moves and stuff like that so we can't just grow a guy to 99 we gotta actually find some talent to get him there so for upgrades obviously I mean Chase Chase Young's gonna get an upgrade he's playing phenomenal um, one thing I do like is that we, we scored but our defense gave up 35 plus 35 that's not obviously good everybody in our division lost except for the Cowboys for Manny Thomas it wasn't necessarily him uh, he did not complete a lot of passes man for under 50% completion is bad uh, but Leonard Fournette got some carries and got shut down under three yards per carry so just not a good day what about the rookie Kenny Johnson, yeah, he caught his first NFL pass. He caught two of them, matter of fact, for 45 yards, proving that he could be a deep threat, and so that's pretty nice. Uh, for defense, Vander already Vander and Sherman showing to be a fantastic pickup by the general manager of the Snowhawks, leading their team in tackles. Uh, Vander even got a sack. Richard Sherman even helped with a sack. No interceptions, though. But we did hit the quarterback. We got two, three sacks, and I'll take that per game if that's what we can do. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. So there we go. Week number two is done, and it is another loss. This time, less offense, 24-14. to 14. And we are sitting at an 0-2 record, guys, and this is not good. What are we going to do? I don't know. But, uh... Man, we got to do something. We've got to do something. Uh, alrighty, guys, I am back. So I was going to put in a uh, a real draft, but I decided actually to go against that. I remember I didn't want to do that. I want everything. I want new stories to be told. So we are going to go with the generated names and stuff like that. And um, I just feel like this general manager mode is more about the challenge of building a team and. If I'm putting in, you know, Trevor Lawrence, I already kind of know that he's going to be a dominating player. So it's kind of cheating. And so I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. We are going to keep it randomized. We're going to keep this realistic. So uh, TJ Bundy is projected to go number one at quarterback. Rich Stewart right behind him. We don't really need quarterbacks. So we're going to focus on uh, other positions. And honestly... We could still use anything, really, at this point. But offense, man, 
and defense on both sides of the ball. Not looking too good at this point. Kind of has me a little bit worried, not going to lie. Uh, we're playing worse than we did last year. I think last year we were 2-0. and This year we're 0-2. So I did not tell you guys, but the three people that we are focusing on still is Chase Young, uh, Manny Thomas, obviously, and then Nicholas Jimenez. Uh, we're trying to grow those three guys. Especially Manny Thomas. We want him to be our guy moving forward. So we need to keep him, you know, our main objective. And Chase Young is growing exactly how we wanted want him to. So that's good news. So let's see if we can't beat these Detroit Lions, guys. We really need this win. Let's. And there we go. Week three is under the belt. We get the dub, 24 to 21. It was a, it was not a pretty win, but a win is a win, and we are now one and two. And our worries of going 0 and 16 are no longer there. So, uh, just sim uh, scouting really quickly. We honestly just want to keep doing this. It's pretty simple scouting. You just, I mean, we all know that. Wish it was a little more in depth, but it's EA. What are you gonna do? We do have some talent. It does look like in certain areas that we could actually use. So that's another plus. So Manny Thomas gets an upgrade. Vander and Nicholas. That's perfect. Those are the guys we want to be, you know, getting upgraded. Our next sim is going to be to the halfway mark. But before we do that, because this division is up for grabs, let's see who is not playing well. Manny Thomas, he's off to a good start in my eyes. 62 completion percentage, only two interceptions, five touchdown passes. As far as running goes, uh, not really running that great. Not too bad, though. Manny Thomas is leaving the pocket a lot. That's crazy that uh, EA is actually letting that happen. Wow, okay. How's the rookie doing, Kenny Johnson? Well, he's got six wrecks for 95 yards. Tyler Croft doing pretty good. That's Terry McLaurin, though. Dominating for us. As far as blocking, Christian Sr. is giving up a lot. Smith is giving up some. The rookie, Nicholas, is giving up some. All right. So for, and for defense, Vander leads the way. He has two sacks. All right, we're kind of spreading out the sacks here, so nobody who's dominating. But one thing I don't like is, well, never mind. We got two interceptions, Lee and Holton Hill. All right. Kicker for extra points, he's 8 for 8. And for field goals, he's 1 out of 2, and his longest is 38. So he could, hopefully, he can be a little better. All right. I don't think I want to make any changes. There's not really much I could do anyway. So we're going to keep the roster the way it is. <clears throat> oh, wait. You want to know what I do want to see? How's Big Ben doing? Uh, and I wonder how they handle it going forward after the rookie comes back. Let's check on Pittsburgh real quick. Big Ben's killing it. Big Ben is killing it. I would expect them to keep him there. But uh, I do want to take a look here. Dorian Stewart, he was number one overall, not the number one overall pick, but yeah, he was picked number two of last year's draft. He's expecting to play when he comes back. So I, I wonder what they do. Do they go with the hot hand, Big Ben, a man who's done you well for you for years? How do you handle that? I don't know. This is going to be interesting. They're both 75 overall. We'll see. We'll see what Pittsburgh does. We're going to we're going to sim to the halfway mark though. And then we're going to check around the league. Let's go. All righty guys, here we are and we are struggling indeed at 3 and 4. So the division is a pretty weak division just like in real life. Uh but the Giants are trying to take off with it. We got to win, you know. We can't we can't keep letting this happen. We're going to take a look at what's been going on like Team schedule. So we lose. Obviously, we won two. Okay, so we we beat the Texans, 35 to 16. We evened it out, two and two. Then we lose against the Packers, which is definitely understandable, 13 to 24. 
Then we win a close one to the Bears, 27-14. Go on our bye and then lose to the Vikings, 14-16. One thing I'm noticing here is not that much offense is being, is being you know, performed. Uh, I'm going to see 21+. Plus. And if you were to look at it like that, which even 21 points in this league nowadays is not a lot, there's still one, two, three games that we haven't even scored 21. Now, if you're looking, uh, you know, you want 24 or more, we've literally only done that three times. So, kind of... Kind of rough here. Not not a lot of offense. Uh, defensive game, that's a good defensive game. That's a good defensive game. So, I mean, it, it's not just one side of the ball. Honestly, it is both, but we we got to play good. We're still in this thing. We're still in this thing, you know? We just got to start acting like it. So, let's go ahead. Let's upgrade our players here. Uh, Josh Rosen's getting it. I wanted to see who's all getting upgrades. Who's putting that work in out there? It's not letting me move. All right, well, it's bugged. Thanks for everything, EA. Moving on. Uh, let's do a little bit of our scouting. We do have a lot of points, so I don't really want to go for any wide receivers. Brandon Bowroom. Ooh, he looks nice. Just going down the chart here. James Abraham looks good. Tight end Jamario Mario Harris. That's an awesome name. Paul Potts, Bobby Richards, ooh, Bobby Richards A across the boards. That is actually pretty nice. And honestly, I think I'm going to keep only the really good ones on my board. So, let's put this guy on our board. Let's take this guy off. Off. Keep him on the board. Off. Uh, keep him on the board. Go off, 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 off. I only want the guys that have A's. Two A's are uh, projected to go first round. They're first round talents. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Left tackle Hamlin not looking good at all. Don't really need. Ooh, Marquez Richardson, he's a scheme fit, but does not look good. Oh, wow, there are, do their things actually change? Because wasn't TJ Bun Bundy at the beginning? Well, he was number one, right, at the beginning. Ooh, do they change? That's dope if that's the case. Because, look, TJ has f fallen all the way down here. Oh, my God, he is AIDS across the board, guys. I know we don't need a quarterback. I know, but you never want to be. Oh, you never want to be. You know, unprepared for anything. So let's just. You know what I mean? Let's just. Let's not count them guys out. I mean, I, I, I'm probably not gonna do that. But Antonio Worthy. Let's see what is he actually worthy though? No, he is not. Not worthy at all. And there we go. So. But now we will look at we're three and four. Let's take a look at the stats. Let's take a look at the stats. What's happening? What's happening with this team? Where are we making mistakes at? So Manny Thomas again not see now at this point is it impressive? Is it impressive? Is it an impressive year? Or no? Wow, Pittsburgh. I wanted to they actually decided to sit Big Ben. And start Stewart. And look at them. Here's the stats. They've thrown exactly the same amount of passes. So you can't get a closer um, review than this. And it does, I'm sorry, but it does look like Stewart is the better quarterback, at least at this point. Wow. He's thrown nine touchdown passes. Two interceptions. Big Ben's thrown nine inter uh, touchdown passes. One interception. But, 67 pass completion for Stewart, 59 for Big Ben. And then, obviously, the yards aren't really even that close where it, as Stewart takes that. So, 
Wow. That's crazy. Uh, but back to our, our team. Pittsburgh, they've, they're clearly having success. Also, on the other hand, not so much. And the run game, I mean, isn't bad, but isn't nothing crazy. Look at our tight end leads and yards. McMurlin, McLaurin, I mean. Uh, Kenny Johnson, not doing too bad. Defense. I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe we're just not getting to the quarterback enough. For interceptions, we only have three. That could be another another sign. How, how is Manny Thomas doing compared to everybody? And then how long do we wait until we pull the plug on him? So for touchdown passes, Lamar Jackson's dominating. 24. I mean, he's not even close. Derek Carr's the closest to him. He's got seven interceptions. Cam Newton's doing good. Patrick Mahomes dominating. No interceptions except for one. I mean, man, it's all these quarterbacks are in front of him in touchdown passes, and then he here he sits. So he's playing around like Herbert, Minshew, Nick Mullins. Russell Wilson's down here, though, so Tom Brady. And here's the other rookie quarterback that got picked by the Chicago Bears, Sergio Mobley, and he's playing great. And there's his. You see what I'm saying? Like, Oh, man, what about yards? For yards, where's our quarterback rank? He's he's a little higher at that point. And pass c completion percentage. Well, you can't really do that, I guess, because it's not going to really work. Wow, dude, the rookie Stewart's up there with Lamar. He's tied for first for starting quarterbacks. Then you got Patrick Mahomes. And Manny Thomas is, is throwing the ball accurate. He's in the top five. So you guys let me know, man. That's something we need to know. When? I mean, I'm not saying any that we're going to do it this year or that I want to. I just want to know. What do you guys think on, like, how long do you wait before you pull the plug on a quarterback? Uh, there's a lot of things that factor into it. And I'm not saying I want to pull the plug on him at all. I'm just wondering. You know, just a friendly, like, thing. Now, Tyler Croft is dominating. Best tight end in the league. Let's go. Best tight end in the league, Tyler Croft. Let's get it. He's up there with wide receivers at this point. For defense, you see it here. Okay, not too bad. I think we're going to end this episode here, though. Um, we have the 21st offense, 25th defense. Uh, it's, we're struggling on both sides of the ball, but we're still in the picture. At the halfway mark, I want to see one more thing. How Are we sacking the quarterback? Are we not sacking the quarterback? What's happening there? So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. We're ninth in the league for, for sacks. So not too bad, actually. And then for interceptions, oh, yeah, we're down here. Okay. Well, there it is. I mean, you see the... The stats. Dorian Stewart, I would definitely say, is obviously playing better than Manny Thomas. Um, already. The rookie here. I can't wait to see what his hidden dev is. If it's a superstar X Factor, man, what a general manager for the Pittsburgh Steelers to, you know, ride their superstar X Factor Ben Roethlisberger up to his career, you know, his full career of eight, nineteen years, then drafts. Dorian Stewart, Superstar X Factor, and doesn't miss a beat. That would that's general manager gold right there. That's what every general manager wishes to do. And I hope I I'm the first ever general manager for the you know the Snowhawks. I'm hoping that Manny Thomas is is a franchise guy. That superstar dev is is very promising, and the 84 overall is very promising, but. There's a whole other part of EA. It's called simulation. And we need this man to actually play good. It can look good on paper. But is he actually going to go out there and do his thing? And I know it's not all on his shoulders, but we need him to do it. So, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.
Peace.